Okay, today we're going to be doing a oil change on a 2007 Chevy Impala, the 3.9 liter uh, V6 police package. So first thing we're going to do is, you know, jack up the car. However, I'm going to use those. Uh, drawing a blank on it. Give me a second. Car ramps. There. Just like that. It's on ramps. I even found a random piece of uh, firewood just for extra caution, I guess. So let's get to it. Now to climb underneath it. Oh, look. There just so conveniently happens to be a uh, oil pan for me to catch the oil and a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket on it and the light. So I'll try and do this a little better so you can see. There's the oil filter and uh, the uh, bolt to take it out the, or drain the uh, oil. She's having a stroke. There, I broke it loose. I don't want you guys to see me struggle at that. All right, now let's finger. I can loosen oh, my finger. Let's see how much oil I catch on my hand. Okay, any day now. Oh. That's pretty, pretty black. I'll let this drain. Okay, the next thing we got to talk about though, the oil filter. So, put this on the bench. So I can do what I'm about to do. Um, there's a huge argument about putting oil inside the filter and filling it up. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to argue about it. So I do. I do. I do. However, use the motor oil to, you know, lube up the gasket or seal around it. Um, so that's what I do. So now we're back under the car. I mean, I could let it sit here and drip, but. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put that back in there and make sure for the love of God you do it by finger. You know, it should go in nice and easy until you get to the end. And then torque it down. Just don't strip it. So. Alright. The next fun thing to do is take off the oil filter. If you don't have one of these tools, I highly recommend it. Especially if you plan on doing your oil changes yourself. Just in case. Because I have a feeling this thing's going to be seized on there, but... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera, so, sorry. I'll be honest, it really wasn't torqued down there that bad. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Not like it really matters, it's just an oil filter. There. For sure going to get dripped on, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. And, whoops. Oh, bad shot again. Ah, you get the picture. Okay, now that that's off and done draining, big thing you guys are going to do is make sure there's no gasket or seal still connected to the motor. Because if there is, and you put this on, you're going to have a bad day. So, again, I can't do it on camera, but just thread this in by hand and do not... Cross thread it for order, for God's sakes. So I'm gonna do it now. Should go on nice and easy. Oh, I just realized I have this upside down. Lord. All right. Again, should go on nice and easy. And once you get it, some say you'll just do it hand tight. And that's probably all I'm going to be able to do, because it's kind of slippery right now. I'm just going to come in there and use this tool just to do another maybe quarter turn. Just tighten it and it should be good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, because it's obviously not level, I'm going to take out my piece of firewood. That should be, just in case, plenty far enough away. I want to get it off these ramps, but I have no motor oil in this, so I'm not starting it up. So I'm going to come in here. Need the keys. And 
there. Oh, I'm just gonna Do not start it for the love of God. Put it neutral. And then I'm just gonna push it off the ramps. Get some momentum. And whew! That's loud. Unnecessarily loud. Pop the hood. Fill her up. Of course the rooster, just as it started, um, goes off. So I put the funnel in, and now I need my oil. So if I come over here to my sack of oil, oh look at that. Just so happen to have four quarts of uh, 5W30 full synthetic just laying around. Perfect. And I'm going to add it. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, you get the concept. There, oil's added. And I also just observed that uh, I forgot to put my trim piece back on from a previous video, so I'm going to do that real quick after this oil change. So I'm going to put this in. And beautiful. And I'm going to check my dipstick and make sure she's topped off. And just like that, uh, oil change is done. 